Welcome to my Extra Life page. Once again, I'll be using Extra Life to raise money for Johns Hopkins Children's Hospital, the hospital that saved my daughter Scarlett's life twice, once when she was first born and once again when she was two. Last year we were able to raise $700 and I think this year we can actually break a thousand. That'll be so incredible. I have not done it yet in all my years doing Extra Life. Join me and help me raise all that money to help the kids that really need it at Josh Hopkins Children's Center. Enjoy whatever I'm about to play. Bye. Okay, I'm going to play about 10 to 15 minutes of Sea Skylines, then the kids are going to join me and we're going to play Spelunky to finish off their day. <coughs> Alright, now let's take a look at internet here. Um, say that again. How much money did you make? Oh, how much did I make so far? I'm not sure. But 200 right. something. So, like, in real. For extra. Oh, yeah, 235. Alright, we need another one over here. Okay. Let's see. Over here, they need some. Head over here. Alright, there's a distinct lack of internet over here. Uh, I can stick some right there. Perfect. Um, there's a need about... Doesn't do much for them, though. Let's head over here, where I'm pretty sure we don't have any. Yep. So, let's pop some there. And one right there. And on this side, maybe there. Um, definitely would be crazy. Well, they have some at the university, so that's okay. And over here. Let's see. These guys could definitely use some. And right here to fill in a gap. There we go. Oh, over here too. Perfect. All right. <coughs> so that takes care of internet. What about post, post offices? Hey, these guys need a mailbox. These guys need a mailbox. No box needed over here. Okay. Definitely need one at City Hall, that's for dang sure. Definitely have a need to process more. But for some reason, I feel like maybe a bug. There's not actually any processing going on over here, is there? Oh, finally! <coughs> They're actually being used. Alright, cool. So, increases speed and storage. Okay, so speed is what we need. Where would this go? Oh, it just goes there like that. Boom. Alright. Cool. We may just have such a big city that we need more than one of these guys, is what it is. They're not fully employed. Garbage is piling up. Of course it is. Because no matter what we do, there's just too much garbage. What is this? Leader trucks, okay, sure. All right, we are out of cash.
All right. Let's head over here. <coughs> uh -huh. Robbery's just kind of starting to pile up everywhere. All right, not enough customers. Well, then. What if we replace you with the row house? Then you don't have to worry about customers anymore. All right. Crash right there. All right. Um. All right, maybe we'll just make another landfill over here. Let's see. should probably suffice. Does that count? Okay. <coughs> and then let's do our zoning. that like that for a minute because I know we have some upgrades. Oh, okay, that can be put there. And more trucks. Okay, so now this landfill has nothing so far. Um, what was this again? Because it looks like we can build more than one. Hazardous waste. Okay, sure. Why not? Okay. So... Oh. Boy, we really messed that one up, didn't we? Ah, crap on a stick. Now we gotta start all over again. always so annoying if you just don't do it afterwards. Okay. Um... Okay. Now, let's go ahead and do the district. Let's see.
Right, it'd be awesome if this can work out. <coughs> Cause it costs me a lot of money. Alright. Well, that's done. Um let me look at pollution for a minute here. Alright, so it's blowing straight that way, so I could definitely have houses up here without any problems. Some zoning done. All right, and then take a quick look at our mining. It still looks like garbage over here. So I feel like something went awry, and it wasn't just a texture painting error. Try this again, maybe. You're tuned into Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, eh. it's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So, a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed. Yeah, oh, things are working better. Representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. All right, now we're good. Cool. All right, people are moving in up here. Excellent, excellent. So many people are getting sick. Where is this person saying that people are getting sick? Here? I look here. Shouldn't be. Everyone seems to be covered pretty well. All right. Okay. Get away from her. These guys ended up underwater again? What in the bloody heck happened here? Oh my god. Don't understand. I guess what it is is you can't stop the river, you just have to divert it, maybe? I don't know. Like, that should have done it. Yeah, now the river's just palling up over here.
<laughs> All right, I guess this whole thing was a big mistake. Let's see. Thing is, I'm not entirely sure how to fix it. Let's see. First things first. Let's move the university, I guess. Ugh. All right. I'm gonna have to make a road first. Otherwise, it's going to be more trouble than it's worth. all that. Oops. Alright, let's just have this Flowing back where it should. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Awesome. flowing All right which way does the water flow here okay so if it's flowing that way these guys are underwater now flow here. And Okay. There you go. Okay. Let me see now what happens. Alright, so it's flowing, it's flowing. zone, all that. The time we had so much hubris, we caused the river to flood. Okay. 
finally okay. I'm gonna be annoyed if later I come back and find this place flooded. Okay, I think we're finally okay. Okay, why don't you find out if Stella wants to play, and we'll figure it out from there. Alright, I think we're good now. to the underground. All right, now let's deal with this problem we had before. Stop following him. All right, so let's figure out this flooding problem we've got now. All right, don't want water flowing into... <laughs> All right, so... Let's see here. Why is there so much water flowing here all of a sudden where there wasn't before? All right, let's see here if we can fix this. Whoa. way. Alright. And here... <clears throat> Pause the game for a second. See if that goes any better there. No. Eventually that water should go away. Still here, so the water has somewhere else to go. Huh? Okay, that's fine. I'll just play with Sam. And Scarlet. Yep.
A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. Sorry about ruining your view, but hopefully keeping you from flooding. Recent demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. You're listening to Second Moon Radio with J. Thomas Horn. There you go. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on And we should be fine now. Right here. The water should eventually go away. Features story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. <sighs> shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into the... All right. I think that's good. It's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance. And <laughs> Looks like a hand. Like a monster hand. Alright. I think I finally got this crap under control. Seems like it. Stay away from the edge of the river, I guess. Alright, let me see one more time. Water. Probably okay now. Oh, wait a minute. Does this water have somewhere to go? Because if not, we're going to be in trouble. Okay, it does. It does? Yeah, it does. It's just in shade. Okay. Alright. Finally. I never freaking built that campus there. Alright. Road. Okay, so let's kind of redo things here. Let's have some row houses here. Commercial here. Here. Yeah. Here. Do regular commercial there, and some more row houses come in that way. All right, finally. And over here, I'm just gonna leave that blank because who the heck knows what's gonna happen to the water in the future? Look at that, that's freaking hilarious. I gotta take a picture of that. <laughs> Subway train was passing by there. All right, get out of this mode. Oh, 
cars are driving underwater, technically. All right. That's bananas. All right. I think that's good. We will come back to the city some other time. I'm going to load up um, Spelunky 2 to play with the kids.